Strongman's the ultimate want. Like, I want to be the strongest man in the world, but I don't need to be. And no part of me feels that I need to be, but I'm gonna work my ass off to try to get there because that's an amazing title to hold, because it's an amazing physical accomplishment, and because that propels you to be able to do with your life whatever you'd like, so long as you see that as a stepping stone. And that's because we shouldn't be most afraid of never reaching our goals. We should be most afraid of accomplishing all of our goals, which is why the, the end never exists. Because if you accomplish all your goals, what are you doing? Why do you get up tomorrow? And the answer is you don't, because there's no reason. I've never questioned what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. I love to do this. Mitch Hooper with his first attempt, and that is no problem. Hooper smashes that event. And if I wasn't paid to do this, and if I didn't have any accolades, nothing, I would still be in the same gym doing the same thing. This one's going to be a push. And there's something just so pure about being able to push yourself physically to the limits. <laughs> oh, this is hard. The mentality to push myself physically has always been there. And the outlet for that has been many different things before it was strongman. It's just a matter that the ceiling is higher. In other sports, I was average, above average. And in strongman, I can be the best in the world. Mitch Hooper could be the new leader here, and he will do it! Hooper finishing strong. This is my first year on the professional strongman scene, and thus my first year experiencing everything to do with the Arnold Strongman Classic. I'm thinking about the guys who have won that in the past, uh, it's really one of those that it's impossible to dispute the person who won was not the strongest. That title is so iconic. I don't have any glaring weaknesses. <laughs> being able to move quick, being able to develop strong tendons and ligaments, being able to have quick reaction time, understand what it's like to compete in a high pressure environment, all of that has helped me tremendously. <laughs> you couldn't really set up a set of events where you go, oh, Mitch is really not gonna be in contention with this. If I get a couple of reps on the log, it's gonna be very hard to beat me. I reckon there's four guys who will definitely do 195. Yeah. Uh, Trey, Bobby, yeah. Luke, and probably Matej, as long as looking good. For me, I can get almost any weight of a log up to there. Just a little bit smaller. My general attitude towards uh, professional responsibility when it comes to being a, a physical therapist is that if I ask you to push yourself in terms of resistance training, aerobic training, uh, I had better have felt how that feels before. I can relate to being fit enough to run a marathon, turning that around to be one of the strongest men in the world. So when it comes to this in relation to strongman, it's a lot of the same stuff. Push, pull, carry, hinge, squat. Whether you're 50, 80, 90, however old you are, you can still do those fundamental movement patterns. And if you can't, you're working towards achieving those. Winning titles is a proxy to be able to gain a platform and build that platform. Uh, in my case, to be able to promote the general health. Get out there, move, and, and see what one body can do. Now, this gets back to one general principle, and that's called progressive overload. One body can run marathons, and one body can win World's Strongest Man. And that's not gonna inspire everyone to do that, but it, I hope that it inspires some people to be able to get off the couch and go for a walk. That's really my objective. My athletic history helps me in a lot of ways. When it comes to things like Wheel of Pain, with a history in American football, I've literally been doing the Wheel of Pain for ages and ages, and now it's just putting it into an inanimate object rather than an opponent. And I can use my sports science background, take advantage of that to be able to get the most out of myself. <coughs> There's something really primal about just knowing that you're physically capable more than other people. Just simply being able to look yourself in the mirror and say, I am better objectively than I was a month ago, a year ago, or even a day ago. It's so powerful. The Arnold Strongman Classic, it really determines who is the strongest. In a five event call with 10 competitors, you might have the best log press, you might have the best deadlift, but you're slow in loading medley or your grip has suffered. If you lose 
six or seven points on one event, you consider your chances of winning done. Come top three in everything, you'll win.